Hello everyone, welcome to Visit Malta channel. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, fake agencies and individual support. Since I started uh, seeing some comments uh, from the individual in my channel and misleading the subscribers, okay, so just thought to uh, give some idea how to identify the fake agencies and individual support, okay. So let me show you, okay. Before you go and trust anyone, just ask yourself some questions. Okay, don't trust, uh, just trust the individual supports from social media, YouTube channel and comments and Facebook and WhatsApp and advertisement unless you know if they are 100% reliable. Okay, and also remember the professional companies here in Malta are recruiting the candidates only through the registered job agency. Okay, who has a valid company registration, website, official direct line, emails. So no companies here in Malta contacting the individual for recruitment. Okay, so please do not trust the individual contact unless if they have a valid company registration number and official website and everything. Okay, so that is more important to check if they are genuine or not. All right. The next one is um, <clears throat> check. Malta embassy in your country is accepting visa because due to the COVID many countries uh, <clears throat> Malta embassy stop um, stop processing the visa application okay remember the visa application is different than the working permit as I have explained in my many videos so visa is completely different than the working permit so working permit is the first one that you have to get then only you have to proceed the visa okay because many many uh, candidates i see uh, they got the working permit but visa is not accepting by the respective uh, country okay so visa is to for travel otherwise your working permit will get expire and you will end up law i mean you will end up losing agency fees what happened is nowadays i see uh, many agencies is uh, offering a job and collecting some money from the the candidates and uh, proceeding the work permit okay and once the work permit is get ready and they have provided the work permit copy to the email uh, through the email to the candidates and ask them to proceed the visa unfortunately in the respective country visa was not processed and the work permit is valid only for 180 days after that your agency has to renew your working permit unless the working permit will get expired and you're losing money by paying the work, working permit cost okay so before you proceed make sure in your country the Malta embassy is active and open and uh, they are accepting visa okay or you can talk to your uh, company or agency and let them know currently the visa process is stopped so you have to hold the working permit okay and again is uh, just check is your agency registered as a company or individual okay and ask the previous employment proof from your agency and verify if they have a valid proof uh, of the previous employments okay and uh, check if the job offer is given by your agency or your employer because sometimes what happens is agency is uh, uh, having a contract with your employer and having another contract with you and reducing the salary sometimes they have uh, own, own all rights to uh, uh, terminate your contract anytime so make sure the uh, job offer provided by your agency or the employer okay and Next one is, uh, will your agency extend the working permit or provide full refund if any rejection of working permit or visa? As I mentioned a uh, few minutes back, just check with your agency, will they ready to uh, refund the full amount if your working permit or uh, the visa get rejected? Okay, so that's more important, otherwise you will lose some money. Okay, and the next one is ask about job security. And mention it in the contract if possible okay so for example if it's a six month contract or one year contract or two year contract or indefinite contract mention it in the job contract and before you uh, sign the contract okay and next one is do you need to pay if you changing your job before the contract end for example if you sign for one year contract and you'll get another job um, you are changing another job within a six month okay some employer want you to pay pay the remaining six month salary to the employer okay so you have to make sure and clarify if you are changing and breaking your contract will you have to pay to the employer or will your employer will uh, ready to leave you within a six month without paying anything okay 
so that's in, uh, that's very important because many agencies is uh, collecting money if you are breaking the contract okay so make sure that uh, there is no amount you have to pay if you would like to change a job change a, change a job you should uh, you should be free to change a job okay and another another important thing is that i uh, i got the comment recently from one of the subscriber and i was surprised uh, saying that uh, agency was collecting uh, their passport and id card remember agency has no rights to hold your passport or id card from you it's against the government law and you can directly raise the complaint to our uh, indian embassy here in malta or you can directly escalate to the identity malta government or the the, the jobs place okay so no employer or agency no one has a rights to hold your passport or id card okay it's against the law so please remember that clearly and please remember the working permit cost only 280 euros as on september 2021 by government of malta no other additional or extra cost to be pay for the working permit because i see many agencies are collecting triple the amount uh, than the 280 euros to the candidate and someone is paying the more amount and waiting for the working permit past two months and three months and sometimes six months okay so please understand the working permit official cost is 280 euro only maybe the agency uh, will additionally charge 50 euro just to travel and submit the application behalf of you in, in fact they don't even have to travel to the identity malta everything is come online so they just have to upload your document and uh, through the identity malta website so there is no physically uh, they have to travel to the malta and all okay so there is no manual work involved too much uh, to collect additional cost so so remember the actual working permit cost is only 280 euros okay and um, the next one is the don't just go by the email and documents when you get a job offer instead just to call your agency or company direct line and verify the address and the contact is correct okay use the google map to verify the company address okay just don't don't just go by the email or some document offer letters and everything and trust them and sending a money uh, to them through the bank account so don't do that just just verify the document is uh, reasonable uh, okay i mean valid uh, by by calling the direct line and check the website and you can google whether the address is correct whether the address is really there or not okay and um, remember only your employer can submit the working permit uh, behalf of the company uh, name okay so no no individual can just uh, submit the working permit behalf of you if someone is saying uh, by providing just the phone number i can get your working permit for free of course and uh, some amount please please don't trust because individual cannot apply a working permit behalf of you only the employer can apply the single working permit okay and the last one genuine agencies will always be transparent and provide whatever information you asked okay and fake individuals agencies will provide only the phone number and give more promise for nothing okay so please be careful with the individual support and uh, some uh, fake agencies before you uh, trust them as i see uh, uh, started seeing the comments saying that uh, i can offer you a working permit and etc okay so please make sure you read all the questions and uh, and uh, just be alert before you uh, trust someone uh, for a working permit okay and hope this video is very useful and uh, let me know if any clarification you can reach me out always through visit to malta at gmail.com for any clarification or you can send uh, send the comments in the in this video which i can help you out directly all right so good luck thanks again for watching this video and your subscription and share the video will motivate me to create more videos Thanks again.